Hi there and welcome to another Bug Bytes tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to build a chained drop down list using Django and HTMX where you can select a particular course from a set of university courses such as computer science and that will dynamically using HTMX load up the modules that are associated with that course. So for computer science you see web development, machine learning. If we select mathematics you see different ones like graph theory and topology and similarly for film studies and physics you get specific modules for that subject. So let's dive into the code and we're going to see how to build this using Django and HTMX. Now on GitHub we have some starter code for this project. I will link this in the description and you can grab that code with the git clone command and then you'll want to run pip install requirements.txt in order to install Django in your virtual environment. Now what we're going to build here is very simple. We have a simple course model which contains the name of a bunch of courses and we also have some modules. Now each course has its own set of modules so we have a relationship between the course and the module. We're going to build that in the models.py file to begin with. So let's cross to models.py within our core application. Now we're going to create the course model first so we'll create a class called course which inherits from models.model and it's got a simple name field and this name field it's a models.car field and we'll set a max length of 128. Now I'm going to copy this because our module um, model is going to be very similar. So the class module will have a name as well. So every course like computer science has a set of modules such as machine learning and web development where we associate the module with the course and the association is going to be done through a foreign key. So let's create a course field on this model and it's going to be a models.foreign key and it's going to link to the course model that we defined above here and we need to specify on delete equals models.cascade in this case so whenever we delete the course that means all the modules within the course will also be deleted and we can also set a related name here related name and it's going to be equal to module so that allows us to take a course and access its set of modules using this modules related name. And now that we have this what we're going to do is we're going to use the make migrations command python manage.py make migrations and what that's going to do is it's going to create um, a migration file within our migrations directory and then once we have that we can run the migrate command and that's actually going to create the database tables within our database and that includes these two tables here that we've created. The startup project that you cloned from github already has the core application with an installed apps so it will pick up those models and it will add the migrations and add the database tables. And now that the database tables have been created what we're going to do is create a custom Django management command in order to load up some basic default data. So within the core application we're going to go to this management folder and within there we have a commands folder and a load data.py file. This was in the starter project. It currently is not implemented, but we're going to copy paste some code I've got here into this file. And what this is going to do when you run this command, it's going to, first of all, it will delete any modules that exist. And then for each of these course names, it's going to basically create a course object in the database. And then for each of those courses, we're going to define a set of modules that are linked to the course. So for computer science, we have these modules. And for mathematics, we have these modules and so on. So all that you're going to do is run this script and it's going to populate your database with some data. So to run this script we call python manage.py and we use the load data command which is the name of this script and running that command should have populated our database. I've got the SQLite Explorer extension in VS Code so if we look at the course table for example if we show that table you see we've now got four courses with the four names that we specified and the list up here. So we've got that working. Now we're going to start building out some URLs and views. So within the core apps URLs.py file, I'm going to remove this and paste this code here. So we're setting up a path here and this path links to a URL called courses which we're going to create now. So if we go to views.py, this is going to be a simple function based view called courses. It's going to take the request object as a first parameter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fetch all of the courses from the database and that's going to be course.objects.all and we need to import the course model in order to do that. And we'll also import the module model while we're at that. Now we're going to set up a context dictionary which has courses as a key and we'll pass in 
the courses here, and let's rename this variable to courses. This is a query set of course objects, and we have four of them in our database. And finally, we'll return a render method, and we're going to render the request, and we're going to render a template called university.html. And finally, we'll pass the context to that template. And the university.html template, that exists within the templates directory. And here it is here. It's very simple at the moment. It extends the base template and defines a content block with a simple bit of text within that content. The base template, by the way, is what loads HTMX as a script. So let's run the server and see what we've got here. If we run the server and we refresh this page, we now see simply content, which we see is what was listed in university.html. If we render out the courses, which remember we're passing as a context variable here, then we should now see the query set of course objects. Now we're going to implement proper select boxes using HTML, and then after that we'll wire up the HTMX requests. So let's cross back to university.html. And what we're going to do within the content block, I'm going to paste some HTML code and let's walk through this code. We define a select box and we have a set of options for each of the courses in our query set. And each option has a value which is equal to the primary key of that course. And we list out the course's name so that the user gets a user friendly option to pick from. Below that, we have another div here with an ID of modules where we include a partial. And this is important because Remember, when we select a course, we want to update the modules that are returned in this partial. So we are going to create this partial now. So in the templates directory, let's create a new folder. It's going to be partials. And within that, we can create this modules.html. Now the code in the modules file is going to be very similar to this select code here. It's going to be the modules partial is just going to be another select box. Um, but we're going to update the for loop. I'm going to say for module and modules. And then we will say module.primaryKey and module.name here. So the purpose of this is that when HTMX returns this modules partial, uh, when you select a different course, it's going to update the modules dynamically. So if we go to the front end just now, we refresh this page, we see that we get a list of the courses. But remember, we don't have any modules at the moment in our context. If you go to views.py, it's just courses that are in the context at the moment. So what we're now going to do is we're going to change this select box here and we're going to add some HTMX attributes to this select box. What it's going to do is going to go to the back end when a user changes the option that's selected and it's going to fetch the correct modules for that option. And it's going to do this using an HX get request. So let's create an HX get. And we're going to set this to a URL template tag, and the URL is called modules. And remember the percentage signs here. So we're going to create this URL in just a minute. And this get request should be triggered, and we'll set an HX trigger attribute here when the option is changed. So when the select um, is changed, we're going to trigger the get request. And let's specify that the HX target that we're going to swap in is equal to the modules ID. Now the modules ID is this one down here that encompasses our include statement with the partial. So what this means is that when Django returns HTML to um, the front end, the modules div down here is what's going to be replaced. That's the HX target. And this partial here is what is going to be returned by the back end, but it's going to be populated with the correct modules that are based on the selection. So in order to get this working, we need to actually create this URL and create an associated view. So I'm going to copy this and let's go to urls.py and define another path. And this path is going to go to the modules endpoint. And we're going to load a view called modules. And the name of this view will be modules so that it matches what we've got in our template tag here. So now that we've got that, we will create a modules view. So in the views.py file, uh, we'll create that function, it takes the request, and this time what we're going to do is we're going to get the course from the get request. So it's going to be request.get, and we'll get the course. Now, the reason this works is because we have this attribute name equals course here. So when you make a selection, HTMX is going to send a get request to the back end, and it's going to attach the course that's selected. It's going to attach the value, which is going to be one of the primary keys. So to see that in action, I can print this out. If I print out the course and let's return the render function and we're going to re render that partial that we created. So partials slash modules.html. 
So if I return that, we should now see that when we make a selection here, we are now on the terminal, we're printing out the primary key of that selection. We get one for computer science. If we select physics, we get three here. The reason, of course, that that works is because we have a name attribute, of course, HTMX attaches that to the get request that's sent and we extract that from request.get on line 11 here. So we have the course's primary key and that's important. We can now get the modules that we're going to attach to the context. So to do that, we'll set a modules variable and this is going to be equal to module.objects.filter and we'll filter by the course being equal to that ID here. So we have an ID here. We can look at the models.py file and you can see that there's a course prime, uh, foreign key here to the course object. So now that we have the primary key of the course, we can fetch all the modules associated with that course using this statement here. And the next step is to just create a context dictionary and add that context to a render method as a third parameter. And now we should see that hopefully this actually works. If we now select physics from this we should now see that we get the correct set of modules, quantum mechanics, optics, astronomy, solid state physics, and electromagnetic theory. So if we now change this to computer science, the modules have dynamically updated. We've got AI, machine learning, and so on. And if you look at the network tab, you should see that HTMX sends the get request whenever you make a selection here, and it attaches to that as a get parameter, the ID of the course that's been selected. And on the back end, you can use that ID here within the module.objects.filter statement to filter down all of the modules in the database to only those that are associated with the correct course. And then we return the partial, which updates dynamically this select box here. So by doing this, the options in this box are contingent on what you have selected up here. So you have this kind of chained drop down effect. And that's how to achieve that with Django and HTMX. And that's all for this video. If you want more information on this, check out the blog post. And thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, do like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And we'll see you in the next video.